Hi, this is James Frey with Alberta Health Services for Health Matters. Today we're talking to Jamie Carbert. She's a student with Environmental Public Health, and we're going to talk about beach safety. Now with summer coming and people are thinking about getting out into the water and not just in swimming pools, but, but in local beaches and rivers and whatnot. So what should people be, be thinking about, I guess, um, on the illness side of things? What, what, what are some recreational water illnesses? Um, so some recreational water illnesses um, are diarrhea, nausea. Um, it can infect your ears, your mouth, um, on your skin. Um, and it can be caused by various uh, organisms like E. coli, Shigella, um, Giardia, and Cryptosporidium. Mm -hmm. So that would mainly from swallowing water or just getting it on your skin and not washing off, right? Right, yep. Swallowing, um, even in inhalation, mm -hmm. you can okay. get it. Okay. So where should people be going swimming, like when they go out in the summertime? Uh, they should go to approved beaches. Um, they shouldn't swim in canals because they could get seriously injured. They should uh, not swim at beaches that have lots of um, rocks or debris present or any other physical hazards. And even if there's lots of birds, they shouldn't swim at those beaches. Okay. Um, now I'm planning a day at the beach, and what should I be thinking about? Um, well, you should look at um, the rainfall events. So if there's been a rainfall event, um, you shouldn't go swimming um, if it was 48 hours prior. Uh, this is due to runoff from the surrounding area. Um, you should also consider um, your swimming capabilities. So if you can't swim, you should probably contact Red Cross and get um, swimming lessons. And you should be aware of, um, of sorry, the other uh, supervision for children. Um, that there's adequate numbers and um, that you should always swim with other people. What is the AHS doing in terms of uh, protecting swimmers from, from these types of hazards? Oh, we do three types of monitoring. So the first one is the physical assessment of the beach, which includes um, like air temperature, water temperature. We look for um, any blue-green algae growth. Uh, we look at if there's any debris in the water. Um, we also look at uh, microcystins, which is a toxin produced from cyanobacteria, and that can be very harmful to humans. Mm -hmm. And the third one we do is uh, microbial monitoring, and this is looking for um, microorganisms in the water that could cause illness to humans if they consume the water mm -hmm. or are exposed to the water. Okay, so that would be through some sort of testing, right? Right, yeah. Well, we send in um, testing to the lab, and they'll uh, do the analysis of the samples. Okay. Now, we hear a lot about blue-green algae, and what exactly is it? Um, it's not actually algae, it's uh, called cyanobacteria. So it's actually a bacteria and it's quite common in, in Alberta. It looks like pea soup. Um, some species of cyanobacteria produce toxins, but not all, um, not all blooms do cause toxins. But if um, you go out to the beach and you do see blue-green algae, it's best not to go in the water because you cannot identify if that species does um, produce toxins or not. Mm -hmm. um, what sort of precautions should people take when they're, when they're thinking of going swimming? Um, the best is to look at the notices posted. Um, take any cautions that the notices say. Uh, don't, or try not to swallow any water. Um, avoid beaches that have blue-green algae. Um, and always check um, the weather reports to see if there's any strong winds or lightning. Um, and then always be sun safe too. Thanks, Jamie. Where can people get more information? They can go to a website called myhealth.alberta.ca or they can call a my health, or sorry, health link and that's 1-866-408-5465. Great. Thanks very much, Jamie. This has been some great information for people thinking of going swimming this summer. Uh, this is James Frey with Alberta Health Services for Health Matters. See you next time.